Hi everybody. Right. Sort of stripped out a little bit. Now, a person said it was fully insulated, okay? Uh, who's up in the van. And all he's done is put this black sticky stuff on, which isn't quite, well. And then obviously, this foil stuff. It's just not really insulated, is it? Same as a roof. No, it doesn't even stick properly, look. So, anyway, it's going to be too much faff to get rid of all of this. So, just been to Wix, and I bought myself 25mm Celitex, because the gap there is 25mm. But I've come up with an ingenious plan. Sorry, I have to move the dog bed. Right, uh, where are they? Ah, here they are. I don't know if this is ingenious or not, but I bought these things. So I'm going to put them on the roof, like that. Just they stick. Okay, they they stick. Cool, a bit overexposing there. Sorry about that. I'm recording it on my phone. So yeah, these stick on the metal. I'll just do it on the side here, like that, and then, actually I'll just show you what, Celotex, okay, goes in, so that's the roof, goes in, sticks through like that, okay, and then, you've got a pack of washers, and they go over it, it stops the Celotex from falling down. You don't have to keep buying expanding foams to just like uh, hold it. So I've had a bit of a think. So obviously, bed at the back, shower here. And then it's gonna be like a storage here. And then above, excuse me, here, I'm gonna put a batten which is the blue stuff down there. It's gonna run all the way along. Two reasons. Because in here, you can see, that's double skinned. And I don't really wanna be drilling through the main spar, but obviously I need to run cables. So, two reasons. Two thoughts. One of those bits of wood is going to go along here. The wiring can sit in a conduit above it. And also, I've got something to screw to underneath for overhead cabinets. So, two birds, one stone. And in the project camper, and most people have these little fuse boxes, don't they, with like a well, with uh, well, like blade fuses. And a little LED that shows you that if it's popped. But because this is going to be hopefully my forever van, I bought this. It's got its own shunt. So it's got, on the, t on the top here, it's got battery one, battery two. So I shall wire that up to the van battery. So that I can check an eye, you know, keep an eye on the van battery. Uh, all these little lights here, these lights that are dangling down, and these ones here, that I've just temporarily put up, so I can swing it around. They run off the van battery. So I've got to disconnect all them. I've just ordered lights from eBay this morning. Exactly the same in, uh, as it's in the transit. So six lights up here and six lights up there. And I'm also going to do the roof the same as I had in the transit, because I do like that. And that is basically one piece of massive sheet of plywood, or plywood um, and then just little strips like that, all the way around. It looks so much neater. I think it looks neat anyway. So 
Well, I'm going to crack on with that. First of all, I'm going to put this on because I would re really like to get uh, some electrics in here just for the lights. So, happy days. I'm still so, so stoked that I've got this van and I love driving it. I really do. I can't be, I still can't believe how fast it is. I would like to say actually, uh, thank you to everybody who commented or commented on the, uh, on the, you know, on the video of the first, you know, of, of this van, getting the van, new beginnings. Uh, I read every single one of them and I'm trying to reply to every single person. So bear with me. Just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's watched and commented and liked and subscribed. It, it, it really does mean the world to me. It really does. Uh, I'm not a big YouTube person. Um, and I like, you know, I, I love the van life community. Um, and everyone is super nice. So thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I really do. You don't, you know, without going into it too much with this mental health thing. Um, yeah, all these lovely comments really gives me a major boost. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I, wanna, I wanna build this van um, as good as I can. And hopefully you guys will follow the journey and like what I do. So let's get these tools out and start building. Right, as you can see, I've done the lower part of the insulation. Okay, now if anyone wants to know what I've been using, it's from B&Q, and it's called the Dial Recycled Plastic Loft Insulation. It's free, and obviously made from recycled plastics. Now on the side here, it actually does have an R rating. Don't know if it's any good. So, uh, now I'm going to put on the uh, silver foil down here and then tape it all up. I'm going to put this back on because you ain't going to see that anyway. Because obviously the kitchen is going to go here, there, and obviously this is going to be underneath in the garage. So that'll be trimmed anyway. So I'm now going to put the insulation on, well, the, the uh, foil stuff on, and then uh, see what it looks like. So the insulation's done on the lower part, obviously, and it's all taped up with silver tape, all joined. I have, to be fair, cheated and used the old stuff. There's nothing wrong with it, so it's going to go again. So there's that part of the insulation done. So now we've got three layers of insulation. We've got the black stuff, which is original, which is quite, quite, quite nice and warm to the touch. Then obviously that's behind you've got the, the white uh what's it called recycled stuff recycled stuff and then the foil over the top so hopefully that'd be nice so what i'm going to do now is put excuse a bit of wobbly camera action that back on like that because you ain't never gonna you ain't gonna see that you're not gonna see that wood at all so well uh, obviously the kitchen's gonna go here because the door's there and this will be all underneath the bed uh, and behind there will be the water tank so you ain't gonna see it so another reason not to throw it away so I'm just gonna screw that on job done and obviously do the same this side. Right, I've exposed this side. So, start filling with it. What's that? Better crack on, I suppose. Right, okay, everyone. I haven't got very far, but side panels up that side that side and I've just started on the bed frame now I had to go to B&Q or Wix's going to get some more wood so there's my uh, 
Let's turn that light off. This is my fuse panel. The only thing I'm uh, thinking about is, obviously here, you've got like battery one, battery two, and then volts, and then amps. Now, on here you have got the bus bar for it, which connects to these two little screws here. Now, I have the uh, Victron BMV. So that means two shunts. Don't know how that's gonna work. But so far, this is what I've done. I have come up a bit of a problem. That's the edging. There's not much gap. Obviously the door's not quite closed yet. Look. So I'm gonna have to pull this back a little bit in line with that. So the time you've got the uh, back of the kitchen on, which would be a drawer, so I can get the water in and out. Just gonna have, a, gonna have one in for the time being before possibly looking at an underwater tank. But check this out, okay? Double seat. Now, if you go on eBay, you can buy a second-hand seat base, and they are between 100 and 150 quid. Ring up Mercedes Benz TPS, 103 quid, brand spanking new, plus VAT. Free delivery. Unbelievable. So I'm going to get the proper brand spanking new seat base from Mercedes Benz. Try and find another seat exactly the same. Be nice if I can find a left hand drive one. Or, as some other people do, they put BMW seats in them. I'm not 100% sure yet. That's a long time down the road. So, not much to look at, unfortunately. But hopefully now, the sides are all done. This part of the insulation is done. I haven't done the back, this bit here, um, and this bit, purely because that's where the soda is going to come in. So all the electronics are going to go on this, on this wall here. So that's why I put this through, this bit of batten here so it can all come down. Anyway, 